Naoya Inoue put on a dominant performance against Stephen Fulton, and the main reason I want to talk about was because of the jab. Even the broadcast was talking about how Inoue was dominating the fight by out-jabbing Fulton, but how exactly did Inoue out-jab Fulton so easily when Fulton is the fighter with a 3.5 inch reach advantage plus a height advantage? The answer comes down to a strategy Inoue employed. And the first step of the strategy was to stand outside of Fulton's jabbing range. This is so that Fulton can outreach him. However, you may be thinking if Fulton is not in his punching range, then that must mean Inoue is even further from his. And this is true. However, Inoue surprised Fulton by using what I like to call a hop jab instead of the conventional step jab to cut the distance and hit Fulton. As you can see, Inoue steps forward with his jab, but instead of stepping with just his lead foot, then following forward with his rear foot, Inoue hops forward with both feet to travel a further distance. And here are some more examples of Inoue hop jabbing from outside range. As you can see, both of his feet are off of the ground. The thing is, while the hop jab may help you travel a further distance than a regular stub jab, it comes with its own set of drawbacks that can be exploited. The biggest drawback being you have no feet on the ground, meaning getting timed and countered while mid-air can be devastating. Furthermore, shooting punches from so far out gives your opponent more time to see this coming, and time you coming in. Inoue seemed to get away with the strategy as Fulton seemed to really struggle to find the timing to counter him, and Inoue's explosive speed made it even harder to time him. I don't usually like to talk about physical attributes when it comes to these film studies, but the power coming behind Inoue's punches also seemed to throw Fulton off, as Inoue would miss some of these punches and Fulton would still get backed up without countering. However, Inoue's hop jabs are actually quite genius because Fulton did manage to get the timing down, but as you can see Inoue rendered Fulton's counter jab useless by changing his head slot as he threw the hop jab. You see, changing head slots as you throw punches is a good habit to get into, as it keeps you harder to accurately counter, which in turn keeps you safer as you punch. The next thing I want to talk about is another advantage the hop jab provides, which is that it allows you to immediately follow up with more punches since both of your feet will land at the same time. You see when you throw a regular step jab, your lead foot steps forward first, leaving you in a wide stance momentarily until your rear foot follows to put you back in stance. The hop jab allows you to be back in stance the moment your feet land. As you can see in these examples, Inoue shoots the hop jab and can immediately flow into combinations with power on his punches since his feet are already set. As an added measure of safety, Inoue made sure to mix in step feints to further throw off Fulton and see how he reacts. The step feint looks exactly the same as the beginning of the hop jab, so these feints will keep Fulton in a perpetual state of confusion if the jab is coming or not. And lastly, possibly the most important part of the strategy, was that Inoue mixed in hop jabs to the body to further mix up his attack. It's important to note Inoue's form on these jabs. He makes sure to level change with his head to not leave it wide open as he punches. He also takes it a step further and moves his head off center just in case Fulton times it with a counter. Of course his body jab ended up being so important because it conditioned Fulton to lower his guard to block them and since these were hop jabs where Inoue's feet are set to follow up afterwards, he was ready to shoot the right hand that sent Fulton down to the canvas. And that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching, and as an added note, a full film study with the footage of the fight will be posted on Patreon later. This video only has still images since Top Rank has been copyright striking me for videos of their fights. So stay tuned on Patreon for that. You can join for as little as $1.
And of course, as always, special thanks to my GOAT tier patrons, Jason Mahinen, Grant Gabriel, Albert Chen, Jeff, Dmitry Drozdov, Andre, Gossaligeza, Mark Price, Marshall Bott, Swazna Bear, Jesus Galindo, Tall Lane, John Stroll, Justin Butler, and Clay Cox. You guys keep the channel going, as well as my channel members, Hot Pocket Maestro and Lucas Miller. I'll see you guys all in the next one.